Uh, maybe uh, I'm beginning. So uh, I'm Regis Perdo. Uh, I'm working uh, in an open source company in France, uh, Arawa. And uh, we provide uh, we, um, support, some support for LibreOffice uh, for the French government. French administration. Uh, so I tell you the story behind uh, these topics. These topics. Um, so uh, in France, uh, the French administration has a database uh, of uh, 300 uh, free software um, um, authorized to be used in, uh, uh, in French administrations. Um, for each uh, software, there is a, a reference. Uh, it's okay. okay. Uh, uh, the, the, these 300 uh, Android software are in all area of interest. You can see, uh, you, you know, the, most of them are Nextcloud, LibreOffice, Colabora Online, VLC. Uh, the French state uh, has an official policy about open source code uh, to manage uh, all these software. Um, we have uh, some extensions uh, like uh, Gramalect. Um, if, um, every three or four years, uh, we have tenders, uh, official tenders, when you, you can uh, uh, you, you can be a candidate for this. Uh, and uh, the last one. Um, was uh, the winner were uh, Atos uh, uh, consortium uh, Atos, uh, a big um, a big society in France, and uh, as uh, there are uh, many software on uh, Thread, we have a group of open source uh, enterprise. Sorry. Uh, like uh, Arawa, Blue Mind, uh, Australia, and others. Um, we have a second. Uh, uh, so the first tender is for uh, uh, support, basic support. And uh, we had a tender for expertise, uh, another level of uh, knowledge. Um, So, so sometimes uh, you see in the in Girit, in the uh, LibreOffice repository, some tags, special <coughs> tags, uh, like uh, Mimo. Uh, this, this, uh, these are our special version version of LibreOffice. Uh, this version uh, we don't support uh, last latest versions of LibreOffice. Uh, so sometimes French administration uh, are not uh, uh, use not faster versions as we expect. Uh, so um, uh, they use always uh, 7.1 versions, 7.2. Uh, and um, we have a specific package. Uh, called MIMO. Uh, in this uh, specific package, um, we have uh, some dictionaries. Uh, the French offline help and some extensions, uh, typically French uh, extensions, French language, uh, as Gramalect. Uh, libre, libre couleur, it's for edu educational purpose and uh, stuff like that. Uh, we have a special repository. We try to um, 
to change uh, this uh, repository, it's a bit uh, hidden. Um, the MIMO version uh, so uh, is uh, from uh, mas master. Uh, we include the backport of uh, security uh, patch and uh, fixes, the numerous fixes uh, developed by Collabora. Uh, and we always uh, reverse um, modification patch uh, to t TDF. Huh? It's in the contract. Um, so we have uh, 77 tags uh, uh, from the beginning of the uh, tender. Uh, you can see them in, in Gerit. Uh, um, someone said it's better than the previous contract uh, with the help of Corabora. So, uh, so first one, we have a specific package. Uh, what's in it? Um, we have different uh, topics in the ticket. Uh, so we are level two uh, support. Uh, level one is made by local specialist. And uh, usually tickets uh, for us is uh, some tricky tickets. Uh, from the beginning, we have 200 tickets, uh, uh, specifically for LibreOffice, uh, because sometimes uh, we have an xCloud and uh, other uh, software ticket. Uh, uh, third, 30% uh, need L3 request, so 70% uh, I can solve myself. Um, don't, uh, fifteen percent needs need some contributions, and ten percent uh, are not uh, resolved uh, because uh, mainly function uh, customer ask for functionalities uh, which are not uh, developed. Um, but sometimes you have the graphic uh, guy. And nothing uh, the GUI and nothing uh, behind. Um, mostly uh, installed failure, um, but uh, we have not uh, involved in, uh, so it's, it's always a mystery. Uh, usually uh, the next installation is okay. Um. Uh, the topic of the tickets are various. Uh, there is some diversity. Uh, this is some example. Um, we have uh, specific tickets about French language. Uh, we have PDF, PDF exportation, uh, PDF export, uh, copy past ticket often and the appearance of a document. But uh, we manage this, and you can see uh, all these tickets are real uh, tickets from the support contract, and you can see uh, these tickets uh, were fixed. So I, uh, I thank all developers involved. <laughs> Sometimes it's difficult. Um, major topics, so the Microsoft Office compatibility, uh, font appearance, uh, it's uh, often a customer uh, said, uh, well, yes, uh, my document is different from uh, Microsoft Office. Sometimes it's not the same uh, font uh, because there is a substitution uh, mechanism but it's not clear for the customer. Uh, many users yeah, um, like use uh, auto filter. So we have uh, some tickets about impressed template, a very 
often uh, ask for this. The automatic numbering uh, is uh, sometimes a mystery. <laughs> we have often to explain how it's supposed to, be, to work. And we have a direct mail wizard, uh, another subject. So copy past help pages. <laughs> um, so customer looks at help page, try to read them, and sometimes say, oh, something is missing. <laughs> uh, the subject we have not at all is macro. Nobody use macro. <laughs> Alors, users expect users expectation. Well, uh, uh, after we have uh, sold some tickets, uh, sometimes uh, there are some meetings, and uh, if, uh, you want a better. Uh, compatibility, uh, we, we, know the, uh, we know that, we know that. Some want the uh, same functionalities. Uh, the PDF signature is often uh, asked. Help page improvement. Accessibility. Um, we are in a French administration, so uh, some officers uh, have uh, disability and uh, need uh, some uh, uh, accessibility tools. Uh, so screen reader compatibility uh, is a topic. The extensions, uh, because uh, it's not uh, the fault of TDF, huh? uh, because it's third party uh, software, but um, we have uh, often uh, need of update. And, uh, sorry, but uh, and the open, on open source code is not always uh, available. A better PDF export. Some uh, we have some uh, technician. We look carefully about uh, <coughs> PDF export um, to improve our uh, tra work. What we need uh, a better control of the installations. Uh, some uh, technician, some French technician, believe we have a tool to check carefully how LibreOffice is installed. Um, I don't think it was uh, directly possible. Uh, they want to test and uh, see if the installation is always okay. Uh, so it's a bit difficult to answer to this. Um, better diagnostic functionalities. Sometimes uh, we have network uh, fonts. Um, in a MIMO version, we have not the crash reporter. So uh, we should, I think we should uh, reactivate it. Um, some uh, officers want to contribute to help page, but it's a bit difficult for, for them. Uh, translation keyboard accessibility access. Uh, sometimes it's difficult to choose a perfect uh, keyboard uh, touch uh, combination. But there is uh, some difficulty between uh, language um, well, extension update, huh? of course, it's not a party uh, problem, but uh, we need them. Um, many officers uh, said uh, the default look and feel of LibreOffice is not as beautiful as they wish. So uh, we have to explain a little how to arrange. And uh, Okay, user want a good look and feel, so well, it's always the same topic uh, uh, because there is a comparison uh, with other uh, office suite. Well, it's, I think it's a kind of uh, subjective. It's, it's subjective. Alors, what we wish next? Uh, we want uh, to improve our support capabilities and uh, move to expertise, uh, maybe in the future. Um, adding functionalities, but not just debugging them. 
Um, Uh, because in the past, uh, um, French administration provided some contracts about uh, Samba AD uh, to improve uh, the, um, the functionalities of Samba. So we hope to uh, yes to um, to have this uh, tender, those specific tenders again. So. So I think uh, this, this kind of contract uh, is uh, interesting for the community. Uh, it's a way to animate an open source uh, system uh, to work on real user use case, uh, to maintain a real knowledge about document processing, because open source is interesting for that. Um, uh, because when you have a, a proprietary uh, suit, you uh, it's difficult to see uh, what's behind. Uh, et puis, uh, in France, we like to uh, speak about uh, digital sovereignty. So, uh, free software can uh, participate to this. Uh, bon, conclusion. That's, uh, that's what I said. <laughs> um, and we need a strong community uh, because when we uh, discuss, uh, some decision makers like to know uh, really what uh, TDF is. Uh, in France, uh, it's difficult to, to explain. Uh, you are not so famous <laughs> in France. Uh, um, so we have to uh, increase this. I have reference. Uh, it's mostly French, uh, that's why I explain it in English. Okay, have you some little question? <laughs> no? So is there any developer in uh, the room who fix something for us? Not, not, not. So uh, I, I, I talk them again. So, that's the end. Thanks. Open to open. Do they hold back? Is it difficult to, is it difficult to access them? Uh, French government, uh, it's, uh, I, as I said, it's uh, open tenders. Yeah. Uh, uh, so uh, it's possible to, to discuss. Uh, okay. uh, sorry, you are completely out of camera. <laughs> okay, sorry. I have forgotten, of course. No, uh, French government uh, is open, huh? uh, it's tender. So, uh, uh, I have heard that the French uh, gendarmerie, uh, the police, they use at least open office, but yeah. they do not uh, go ahead to switch to LibreOffice, for instance. Ah. I think they did, because uh, they use a uh, version of Gen 2. Um, they use they a version of Gen 2. It's called Gen 2, and uh, it's available uh, with the office. Okay. Uh, and things are sometimes slow. Uh, they use always a 7.1. Uh, every three months, uh, we, we said them uh, you should uh, integrate next versions, 7.4 uh, at this moment. <laughs> so, uh, and we have to. to um, to find decision, the right decision maker. Because, uh, uh, in fact, uh, all ministries are free to use what uh, they want, uh, include the uh, proprietary uh, suit. Uh, some, ministries don't, doesn't, uh, some ministries don't want a specific versions. So they use a master, uh, the last LibreOffice versions. 
So they have to wait for fixes and uh, security patch. Because in general, I understand that French government is um, open to these uh, open standards, and I think um, they are using also Matrix or what is called Chuck in French. Yes. So um, there is a wave um, going in the let's say right direction from our point of view. Yeah. It's uh, but you have always to 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 act as a, a kind of lobbyism. Yeah. You have to, to remember them, how open source is good, <laughs> after every uh, vote. Uh, yes? Uh, so, you mentioned that uh, your organization is uh, mm, looking at ways to contribute into code. Uh, so, my question is, uh, do you plan uh, to build uh, in-house companies or only uh, tender to access the ecosystem uh, in the French administration in French ah, yes uh, I, I have not re the all the um, answer uh, there will be always standards uh, but um, uh, French administration try to have uh, its own uh, developer in, in, uh, in some area of interest to uh, have uh, the mastery of uh, knowledge because uh, sometimes uh, uh, they, um, we have always the problem how knowledge uh, is maintained meant, uh, in the time uh, during the future. Um, we have the case of the knowledge uh, disappear because uh, the, the enterprise uh, which uh, deal with this knowledge uh, was uh, shut or uh, was closed and nobody uh, knows the fact. It's uh, the, the usual story of knowledge huh? uh, but um, uh, you, you have to... Uh, um, it depends uh, on politics but at this moment, uh, they try to have uh, some knowledge, but there is always a tender in the, in the future. That's all uh, what I say. <laughs> okay. Nice. Thanks, Merci.